Now, this week, I also asked Senator Braun about the controversy involving the president's continued efforts to challenge the election and this impassioned plea from a Republican election official in Georgia. This is the backbone of democracy, and all of you who have not said a damn word are complicit in this. Within days after the election, we witnessed an orchestrated effort to anoint a winner, even while many key states were still being counted. It looks like you likely lost the state of Georgia. We're investigating. There's always a possibility. I get it. And you have the rights to go through the courts. What you don't have the ability to do, and you need to step up and say this, is stop inspiring people to commit potential acts of violence. Someone's going to get hurt. None of us uh, is going to be for uh, that kind of rhetoric that initiated that response. So I don't disagree with what he said at all. Uh, that's uh, carrying it too far. Uh, if you're worried about election integrity, uh, you should be doing it in a methodical way. Uh, let the president pursue, as he has the right to do, any irregularities that he sees. Uh, that uh, goes, I think, up until December 14th. He's acknowledged then that he'll accept whatever the Electoral College does. That doesn't mean this stuff goes away. Now, this week, Braun also wrote an op-ed detailing some of the irregularities uh, the president has tried to reference, many of which have already been debunked. Indiana Democrats responding, calling Braun's op-ed un-American. They said Senator Braun is, quote, not only endorsing debunked conspiracy theories, but chucking the Constitution out the window, in their view, to keep his politics in check. They call it performative politics at its worst. We're going to talk with our panel about that up next. Plus, three former presidents promise to publicly take the coronavirus vaccine on camera to ensure public trust. We'll talk with one of our panelists, a Hoosier who worked for former President Bush after the break, and the Indiana impact of the coronavirus crisis. We'll talk with our panel about the personal impact and the possibility of more shutdowns in the future after this.